Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. When he passed away in 1912 at the age of 82, Russ Harris was described as the oldest active jockey in the world. Born into slavery in Natchez, Harris was recognized for his knowledge of horses and became known as the pride of the Mississippi turf. He stood barely 5 feet 4 inches tall and weighed a slight 103 pounds. Harris rode for a number of wealthy planters, including Colonel Adam Bingaman, one of the greatest breeders of thoroughbreds in the Natchez district. In one of his most memorable races, Harris rode the famed horse Lexington against one named Creole Jim at the old Farsalia racetrack in Natchez. Harris galloped past the judges' stand to the cheers of the thousands who attended the race. He later recalled that Bingaman had to carry his winnings home that day in a very big bag. Bingaman and Harris subsequently raced Lexington at Fayette, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, and Louisville, Kentucky. It was Harris, of course, who drove Ulysses Grant around town when the Union General visited Natchez in 1863. In his later years, Harris was seen often around Natchez wearing a long beaked cap with a large bright red and yellow striped handkerchief tied around his neck. According to the Natchez Democrat, Russ Harris won his last three races, including one that took place on July 4th, the year before he died. Later in his life, Harris preferred driving trotting horses. He observed, when you're riding running horses, you take a chance of getting knocked on the head, getting thrown, or horses falling. With sparkling eyes, however, Harris noticed that running races is mighty fine. I'm Karen O'Neill. My husband Gary and I own and race thoroughbred horses, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.